The Black Maduro from HC. What's up everybody, Eric here from Tea and Tobacco. Today I'm going to be doing a blind taste test of the Black Maduro from HC. So let's get to it. All right, so let's see what my wife picked out today. So we have a nice Maduro here. The wrapper is actually pretty shiny. It has decent seams, though is missing a little piece of wrapper right up here. It's like it follows the vein from the, the leaf. So it looks like just kind of a piece of the wrapper is missing. It looks like they used a lot of glue, though, so that's probably going to hold just fine. The veins are not too pronounced at all. Has a nice firm pack throughout the entire thing. There's a slight divot or kind of a soft spot here. Scent off the wrapper is kind of a sweaty grass, I guess. And then off the foot is more of a chocolate note. Um, yeah. So let's get this cut up and lit and we will get to smoking. And while I'm doing that, be sure to check out all my various social medias that are showing up in the corner. If you'd like to support this channel, there is a link to Patreon and Subscribestar, though I'd prefer Subscribestar because I think Patreon is going to have a problem eventually. So. Uh, go over to Subscribestar. Like I said, all my social medias are up there. If you would also like to support the channel, I do make custom ashtrays like this one. Uh, and you can let me know if you would like a custom ashtray. Uh, my brand new spindle for my lathe should be here on Tuesday, so I can finally get back to making pens because they were just slightly, slightly off from being centered, which was kind of a bummer, um, but you know. Right off the initial light here, smoke output is really good. The draw is pretty much perfect. There's a slight heat buildup on the back of the palate. There's a lot of white pepper on the retrohale, but the main flavor on the draw is a bit of a oak note for the most part. That's about all I'm getting right here. So. We'll get to smoke of this down and I will update you in a little bit. All right, so just about an inch in here, I'm gonna knock the ash off in a second. Burn has been fine, slight curve to it, but not a big issue. I've actually set it down for decent amounts of time and it stayed lit, so that is a big plus. Draw is still pretty much perfect. Flavor-wise though, it's sitting still in that kind of oak range. The You get pepper on the retro hail, very light heat on the back of the palate. And then it morphs into a very, very, very light coffee chocolate note in there. The finish is very short at this point, but uh, all in all, pretty good so far. All right, so I'm about halfway down my cigar here. Burn has been fine. I actually had to touch it up, but that was on me because I set it down for too long. But the his nice white ash here, it's burning great. Flavor-wise, is still kind of the same. It's just kind of punched up just a little bit. That oak is still kind of the heavy predominant note in here. You do have a mild coffee flavor coming in. Still have that white pepper on the retrohale. Very, very mild heat on the back of the palate. Almost not noticeable. I didn't even like really notice it until I thought about it. Uh, so that is about it. So I'm just past the halfway point here, and I will probably update you again when I'm done with this thing. Hat of the day today, I'm wearing my Dockers flat cap. I've had it for a very long time now, probably 10 years. Mother-in-law gave it to me for Christmas many years ago, and it actually has ear flaps, which I didn't know for the first like three years I owned it, which was kind of funny. But anyways, if you're interested, link's down in the description. All right, so I'm pretty much at the end of this thing. Flavors are getting kind of washed out at this point. A little bit of meaty flavor on the end here. Flavor-wise, it stayed very consistent. You have that oak flavor, that white pepper on the retro hail, that touch of coffee cocoa in the background, but that is about it. It's a nice, smooth, and actually a relatively mild smoke. So, all right, what are we looking at? We have the HC Black. So this is the Maduro, or one of the Maduros from the HC line, so pretty good. I actually have a lot of these. Uh, I bought a whole 
uh, bundle and I've actually been smoking them. I didn't really think about that. So yeah, it makes sense because those are very good. So thanks for watching my blind review of the HC Black. So thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe, comment, question, feedback down below. Be sure to check out my social media links down below. Watch a video over here if you want. And if you'd like to support this channel, go check out the subscribe star. I'll probably dump Patreon at some point. Oh yeah, and I make a custom ashtrays. If you are interested in a wooden ashtray, you can send me an email and join our Discord if you're interested. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Tea and Tobacco. See you later, guys.